Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and this is the Spring Review <laughs> Round 2. I did the whole thing and forgot to hit record, so I'm going to go over it again. So my packs are going to look a little bit disheveled, but we'll get through it all. So I'm going to uh, move a few things out of the way. We're going to start with P.S. I Love You. So this is a new collection from Graphic 45. They're actually introducing two collections and one DCE. So we'll start with... P.S. I love you. And I'm sorry for the mess. <laughs> but it's all going to look like this in the end when I'm done, too. So here we go with P.S. I love you. So this is a very romantic and elegant collection. Oh, this happened on the first go-round, too. This is upside down. Or it was placed in the package. Flipped. Upside down is not the right word. Flipped. Okay. Okay, so there's our patterns and solids. Now we're on, now we're right. Okay, so there is our signature page. Uh, lots of lovely cut aparts here. Very strong contrast and very clean, elegant looking. Okay, so you get two of each one. easy to fussy cut and pop some of these in a layer. This is, makes for a great background page. Lots of cut up arts. I love stamps, especially this size. Okay. P.S. I love you. They've done romance collections before, but honestly, I think this is the closest to an actual wedding one I've seen. Some of the other ones look more like Bonamar. It looks a little more like Valentine's Day, maybe. This is really pretty. Uh, I can't even quite describe it, but it reminds me of some silver-leaved um, succulents that you see. So it's green and blue. Um, I like it. I think it's really pretty. Okay, I'm going to pull in some gold here. So here is the sticker sheet. So you've got lots of fun things to do here too. Yeah, this is really pretty. Okay, so let's take a look at the patterns and solids. So you always get a dark black and a, and a pale. These two will have the black background. There we go. ivory and then some more of the black there's that interesting green I don't oh you know what sage sometimes has that sort of silvery green it's what it kind of reminds me of okay we introduce the gold nice neutrals and there we go that is the end so what do you get when you get a bundle with gra with, of Graphic 45 these days? You get a bundle, you get the 12 by 12 collection pack, the 12 by 12 patterns and solids pack, the eight by eight pack. You get a set of stamps, a set of um, die cuts, and a set of die cut flowers. So that is what a collection pack is, or a, a bundle is now. So let me show you what those look like real quick. So we looked at the two 12 by 12s. There's the eight by eight. Here's stick, uh, stamps, not stickers. And of course you get a sticker in the pack. Here's your die cuts. So you can get a look at what comes in that pack. And then these are the flowers. So that is graphic 45 PS, I love you. So now we're gonna do make splash. First of all, I have to say, this is way more vibrant in person than it looks online. Um, I liked it when I saw it, uh, but I really like it now once I got a, my hands on it. It looked kind of almost pastel online. Well, it doesn't look that way in, in, in person. This is probably my favorite pattern in the pack, just because it's going to be so easy to use. It's a nice... All of these are like the traditional ephemera card size. 
and then you've got what would be the normal ephemera on the back side, which I'm glad they did because I miss the, the ephemeras, but I'm happy to cut them out myself as long as they put them in there. Okay, got some border strips here. These are always fun to put on flaps, edges of pockets, make frames out of. And this is really pretty. I like all the colors in this. It's very pretty. Okay. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Okay, another cut apart page, but this one has just a pattern on the back instead of the flip side of an ephemera card. Okay, so here's our sticker sheet. So this is nice. These are all the stickers I like. So sometimes they're they're ones that I don't care for the shape. Um, I like the tags. Um, these little tickets are awesome to work with. So I like these shapes a lot. They have a couple others that I think are just too hard to work with for me. These, these are easy to integrate. And I like the little sentiments that they add here and there. Okay. All right, let's look at patterns and solids. Look at that. Very deep and rich looking at it in person. Lovely. If you haven't, um, hop on over to our, our blog. There's new updates on what's going on, as well as a link to my latest release, which is Our Way. And I'm working on Rain of Grace right now, just so you guys know. I'm a mm, couple days away from releasing it, so that'll be up soon. It's an 8, eight and a half by 8 and a half mini album, so more to come. Okay, there's Make a Splash, so let me show you what comes with it. If I can find it, because I'm all messed up now. Okay, here we go. So here's our 8x8 and our flowers. Let me give you a close look at that. Make a Splash. This is the stickers, which are pretty easy to see. And then here's a pack of what they call die cut ephemera. Um, and I say that with a question mark because I always think of the ephemera as the journaling cards. Um, but yeah, so there you go. That used to be one of their stickers and I, I always had trouble getting it off without tearing it. So I like that it's now already die cut for me. I don't have to take it apart and that I can always find a place to put that. It's always nice to have an organic oval, other shapes than just the rectangles. Um, to kind of break things up. So I think this is a great collection. I think it's doing really well too. Like I said, if you go over there and there's something that you wanted and it's not here, it's it's already being reordered. And if you pre-ordered, um, it's on its way to you already. Okay, Sunkiss. This was wildly popular when it first came out and I expect that to be the case with the collector's edition. Now, um, as of this year, collector's editions come in 8x8 or 12x12. So let's take a look. Look, it's just as beautiful as it was the first time. I did some projects with this. I really liked it. And it brings back memories of Ginger Rop, who came and did a class for us um, featuring this very product. Beautiful, vibrant flowers. So lovely. For some reason I'm not getting my pages picked up correctly, but I'm not skipping anything. <laughs> I can smell that graphic ink. It's because my fingers aren't working. Okay, here's our cut apart page. Some borders. Yeah, that's why. I'm trying to pick up two and there's three of each one. In a DCE, you get three of every um, design. That's why I kept throwing off. And there's my stripes. I love my stripes. The turtles, they look so good. Look at just, you can just, it almost makes it so. Nice rich blues. They do a good job in the DCEs of balancing the patterns 
and what would normally be something like um, uh, patterns and solids. So you can do layering, which is so important in uh, mini making. And that's it. That's the last one. So um, as always, the DCEs, what you see is what you get. You get three sheets of each design and it comes in 12 by 12 or eight by eight. So I don't usually mix and mingle, but I'm going to, to today. Oh, I forgot to. You also get a sticker sheet. <laughs> so that is what comes in the Sunkist. Now we're going to take a look at the latest collection from Stamperia. And we're going to start with these beautiful images. Now this is called Vintage Library. This is the scrapbook pad. And then they also have a background, which I'm glad they do that. I love that. I've lately been leaning towards one 12 by 12 collection pack or scrapbook pack and two of the backgrounds. I think it makes uh, layering easier because you get more sheets like this. <clears throat> Beautiful. This looks great. This is pretty traditional for Stamperia, these cut aparts, these book markers. So these are about five and a quarter. I'd say these are maybe three and a three and a half. Okay, a whole page of cut aparts. Now let's take a look at the patterns. So glad they're doing this. Love the patterns. So what you notice on the patterns is even though they have some objects, um, it's not like one large object. Um, so like this page is just all pattern, right? Which is nice. You don't have to work around some strong image. And I said this the first time I was going through this when nothing was being recorded, but I find this page very interesting. I'd have to give it some thought, but I'd want to do something pretty creative with these. I think they're really neat. Some of them, there's one up in front I would definitely just use for the spine of the book. But I think there's more that could be done. Like you could use these on the spine of mini books that are inside your mini book, for example. So you cut these apart. They could be tag toppers. This is beautiful. Yeah, I'm so glad that they're doing um, these backgrounds. That's just so pretty. That's pretty too. It looks like embossed leather. Another one that looks kind of like embossed leather. And another one. That's gorgeous. Yeah, I'd have to figure out. You can see, here's an example of making a mini and a mini. So I'd cut these two edges off and make this a book and put a spine down the middle. And then when you open it up, you could have like journaling pages inside of it. So it would be the right scale and you could put it in a pocket inside your book. In fact, there's some papers that could go inside this book. So you can see lots of things to do with this. So that is it for the, um, the paper parts. Now this, uh, these come in eight by eight as well. And they're releasing the backgrounds in eight by eight as well as the collection pack. And here those two things are right here. So that's nice. It used to be in the beginning they did backgrounds. They didn't do both sizes. Now they do. So here's some accompanying items. So we've got the wood chipboard. We've got the die cuts, which I'm a huge fan of. And then we've got the ephemera die cuts. The difference is these are a little thinner and they have an adhesive back. And these are a little bit stiffer, so they have a little bit more dimension. And of course, here's our decorative chip that coordinates with the patterns inside. 
we have the collectibles and these are fun. Some of these um, have reverse sides and others have patterns that can be used to fulfill, you know, your scrapbook pages. So like here you've got um, front and back, front and back. And then here you've got, you know, some options, which I like. I like it when they do that. And these are fun. They're, they're a challenge to cut sometimes, but they're, they're real fun accents to have here. So this is the library collection. And the last thing I'm gonna show you, this is new, I believe. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is new. This pack has six, it doesn't seem right, but it's what it says. Six printed rice papers and they're A4. So this is a set of the rice papers that you see right here. And I'm gonna flip through those on large scale in one pack and we're selling them as a pack. And we also have the eight printed rice papers on A6. And that is these items. So what I'm gonna show you is all of these, but depending on which pack you buy, you're gonna get a slightly different. So one's got eight and one's got six. These are a bargain if you like um, rice papers, um, buying them in the pack um, is, is less expensive than buying them individually. So here's one of them. And let me see if I can organize it such that. So this is in the A6 pack, but I think it's in both. Yeah, this is in both the A6 and the A4. That's in the A6. The blue is in both. The book is in the A4. This is in the A4. This is in the A4. And this one is in the A6. So, yeah, so something's missing. I think I'm missing this one. Am I? Is it? Yeah, I don't see that one here. Maybe it's stuck behind something. Hmm. Or maybe Julie didn't order it. So you may find some patterns in here that we didn't order individual sheets of. That's what it probably is. Okay, so take a close look if you're going to buy the whole pack. Go through the whole thing where you can see everything that's in the pack and make sure it's the one you want. And of course, you can always buy the individual sheets. Same as always. So that's it for Stamperia. That's pretty fun. That's a lot. So we've got the P.S. I Love You. We have the library, vintage library. I ran out of desk space. Graphic 45 Make-A-Wish. Graphic 45 Sunkissed. Am I forgetting something? No, that's it. So we've got a lot just out on release right now. If you've pre-ordered, it's on its way to you. Um, take a look in our shop. And if you have a minute, hop on over to the blog and find out what's going on in general. I'll talk to everyone soon. This is Stephanie from Scrap and Create. Have a good night.